I'm Christine Crawley and this is your NWI.com daily news update for Tuesday, March 15th. The Kankakee River remains under a flood warning through Thursday night as water levels continue to drop. At 545 this morning, the river was at 9.46 feet at Shelby, which is about a half of a foot above the floodplain there. The Indiana Department of Labor has found the University of Notre Dame at fault in the fall death of student Declan Sullivan. 20-year-old Sullivan was videotaping a football team practice on a hydraulic lift, which later toppled over in high winds and killed him. The Indiana agency will fine the school $77,500 for five violations, including failing to inspect the lift on a regular basis. The no stock is back in court again. Opening arguments are expected to start today in Lake County Court in a malpractice case against former Maryville ear, nose and throat doctor Mark Weinberger. Weinberger and a physician's assistant are accused of causing the September 2004 death of patient Phyllis Barnes. The suit claims Weinberger misdiagnosed Barnes, missing the throat cancer she actually had which led to her death. Finally, keep up with the times for updates on the disaster in Japan as the country faces a rising death toll and radiation after its devastating earthquake and tsunami. For all of your news, continue to follow us at NWI.com as well as Facebook and Twitter.